guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Q&A video. Today I'm going to answer the question, do you actually need to use a fixative on your finished drawings or can you get away without using it? And I always give the same answer to this question and that is yes, absolutely, you need to use a fixative if you want your artwork to live a long time. Live? Last. The fixative that I use is this one. I use this fixative here, which is the De La Rowney Perfix Colourless Fixative. It's really easy to use. It gives a really nice fine layer and you can build the layer if you need to, to really protect your artwork. So using a fixative is imperative in my opinion if you want a really long lasting artwork that's not going to fade, the marks aren't going to transfer to any Thing that you put the artwork in so it's not going to transfer to the glass on the frame, it's not going to fade, it's not going to weather and it's going to help prevent the paper from turning yellow when exposed to direct sunlight and other elements. A lot of people don't actually use a fixative and that's okay because materials that a majority of people use are light fast and are guaranteed to last anyway. But adding a fixative over that layer of materials, pencils, graphite, whatever it may be, pastels, adding a layer of fixative to that whatever medium you're using is just guaranteeing the longevity of your artwork. If I had the option to protect my artwork with fixative and not to protect, I would definitely go ahead and protect my artwork with a layer of fixative. If you're unsure whether to use a fixative or not on your finished piece, definitely test it out on a sample piece first to see whether the fixative that you're using actually changes the paper or the colours in your artwork first. You don't want to have a finished artwork that you're really proud of and then go and add a layer of fixative and you find that it messes up your artwork in some way. So always test whatever fixative you're planning to use on a sample piece of artwork first before you use it on an artwork piece and then subsequent artwork pieces after that. As I said, I use this De La Rowney fixative here. That's just what I use for my personal needs. There are plenty of other fixatives out there, so find the one that's suitable for you if you want to use it. If I had to give one piece of advice, it would be to definitely invest in some fixative because you want to increase the longevity of your art pieces. It's that simple. So always go for a fixative as the final finishing touch on your artwork. That's all for this week, guys. I did mention in a previous video that I am gearing up and getting ready for my trade show so I'm finding it a little bit difficult to film and edit videos at the moment so over the next few weeks my channel might be a little sparse and that's only because I am in full trade show preparation mode. My entire time is going towards finishing commissions and getting ready for my trade show so that's why there's not as many videos as usual. But as always thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another Q&A video next week. Bye.